Welcome to Sailing Kuru. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button. Ria and I have set out to circumnavigate our planet in our sailing catamaran Kuru with no sailing experience at all. If you like our content, please hit that little bell to be notified whenever we upload new videos. So we um, anchored in Salina and um, turns out that it, this is a, a marine reserve where you pay a lot of money if you anchor in, uh, in seaweed. I mean, you, you're not supposed to anchor in seaweed for, for many reasons, but two of them are um, it damaged the environment and the seaweed is very um, important for the ecosystem here. That's one thing, and the other thing is your anchor won't hold anyways. We heard that they are um, checking on this every now and then. And since this is a marine uh, park, um, we just anchored and this lady came in a, in a dinghy and uh, was just looking at our chain and the anchor, if we are anchored in seaweed. We weren't. We got the chance to ask her how this really is because it was never clear, uh, is it, does it just concern your anchor or is it your anchor chain as well or nobody could ever um, tell us really. So we asked her and for a boat our size um, it will cost us about a thousand euros if uh, our anchor or our chain is uh, affecting seaweed. So that means you can't really leave your boat here because it's just a rather small sand patch. So if you swing and your chain um, you know, slides over the seaweed, it's considered as damaging the seaweed. Ergo, 1000 euros, fine. So um, I'm just gonna stay on the boat and it gives us the opportunity to uh, do a little dinghy course for the girls. Bring in the instrumental rasta. Christine wanted to get familiar with the tender Bimfi. If you're a six to eight crew on board, you probably not always want to do the same things. So some of us want to go ashore, others want to stay on the boat or go for a dinghy ride. The more people know how to use the dinghy, the better. After a few setbacks in the beginning, we managed to lower the tender and start up the engine. So what did we do? We almost sunk the dinghy. Yeah, that was my fault. I didn't put the plug back in. Laying on its side on a ground is never on purpose. Only if it's a pirate boat and they uh, careen it and clean the bottom. Yeah, well, it wasn't a pirate ship. Remember when I told you your anchor won't hold in seaweed? Well, I guess that's what happened to this poor guy. We hope the damage wasn't too severe and continued their tender course. Mm. 
put it in gear, just pull it. Yeah. And now just go very slowly on the gas and then you move it like like in the opposite direction as yeah. you want to go. <laughs> For yes. the girls it's in there. the opposite direction. <laughs> It always seems to be so clear for the boys. If you're driving a boat with an outboard engine and a tiller for the first time, it might feel a bit off. You basically have to steer in the opposite direction of where you want to go. But after a few goes it starts to feel comfortable and to some it's even more appealing because you can actually feel the boat better. After that dinghy driving lesson and also replacing the fan belt of our starboard engine, we lifted anchor and headed north towards Ibiza town, where we were eager to visit the old town. We tucked into a big bay called Gala Talamanca to spend the next few days. Nope, that's a story for another episode. Good morning. I don't know why, but whenever something uh, very exciting happens, we don't film. We're at Anchor, uh, just one bay north of Ibiza town, and it blew like 40 knots last night, and it was a little bit hectic around us. Um, a lot of boats went uh, out, came back in, tried to anchor, gave up, and uh, sailed away again. Had a few maydays and a few pompons on the radio, so um, yeah. And our neighbor just in front of us, well now he's next to us, was pretty close and Christine um, actually wanted to go and tell him to uh, pick up his anchor and... Find another place, that's what she said, yep. Yes, it was all very exciting. We took the tender ashore with the intention to explore Ibiza town, which the locals simply call Villa. Where are we heading? To the old town of Ibiza. To check it out. Nice. It's on top of a hill. And um, it's, I think it's really, really small. It's only like that little thing on top of the hill with the with a, a wall surrounding it. Oh, that's all of the old town? I think so, yeah. Oh, okay. You can't understand the villa is a very cute little town in the southeast of the island, which since 1979 is actually and officially called Ivisa. The old town, or Dalt Villa, how it's called by the locals, sits on top of a 325 foot hill. It's a quite steep walk uphill to reach the fortified old town. So um, I guess we're walking up into the real old town now, with all the walls, the old walls. It looks beautiful though, very well preserved too. <laughs> Looking at. Yeah. A very nice balcony. We could sing you a song from the balcony. So this behind me was the entrance to the actual town back then. That's what they say. So they had two guards sitting around the bonfire, eating sausages, I don't know, and uh, watching the entrance of this beautiful little town here. They promised me a big bath full of ice water and I think it's in there. Somebody please check it out. Who, who promised you this? I, I think it was that one, right? Yeah, that one there. <laughs> you want to go check it out? No. <laughs> of course we checked it out. This is actually the path that eventually leads up to the fortifying walls where you can enjoy a spectacular view of the whole town.
just gonna go around the next corner. What's around the next corner? The ice um, bottle. No, the that's ice. not true. It's the, it's another corner. <laughs> and then there's another corner. So see, this is the corner. One corner. Guess what? This is another corner, and there's another corner, and then there's another corner. Told you. So apparently these these walls have been built with the stones from uh, from Atlantis where we've been probably last episode. We made our descent down through narrow cobblestone streets into the heart of Daltvila and by chance ran into these guys. They all work at Massimo and Connie's company. That's Connie and that's Massimo. And we all went sailing together the next day and had a lot of fun. Well, most of us did. to uh, Lilia or Lalia, Lilia, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but we're on our way and we left very early. Um, in the bay we were anchored because the swell was just unbearable and still like um, pretty rough. There is almost no wind so we can't even sail or motor sail. So uh, yeah, we're on the way north and uh, hoping for some better weather and especially a better um, anchorage for the night. And um, then also in the port of Vilelia we're gonna uh, take on a new crew member for a week, Massimo, good friend of ours, he's uh, visiting and uh, gonna stay for a one week vacation. Sweetness. I'm so excited today, it's my day, because we're going to the hippie market. <laughs> I'm gonna buy all kind of stuff. <laughs> the hippie market in Punta Arabi takes place every Wednesday, at least at the time we were there. Club Punta Arabi gave the hippie movement a space where they could sell their goods. The market grew from only a few stalls to the biggest hippie market on the island of Ibiza. Club Punta Arabi now hosts over 500 vendors from all over the place. Some people sell beautiful handmade things for reasonable prices and others, well, you know, products from Far East. Nevertheless, we enjoyed our visit very much and hope you will be able to visit the gem as well in your travels. Definitely must win in Ibiza. Thanks for watching this episode, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our little travel channel, it's easy as pie and helps us out a lot. Till next time and see you out there.
these videos are made with love and are dedicated to everyone who is not yet ready to cut the lines and sail off into the sunset. To everyone who seeks adventures and dreams of pure freedom and endless summers. To all of you free spirits and wandering souls, see you out there.